Hey everybody, welcome to the Mortgage Today for Friday, August 11, 2023, and oh, what a day it was. MBS, we're taking a hit early, down a quarter point in early trading. Stocks were down about nine points. Bonds were almost perfectly flat in the overnight session as traders scratched their head trying to figure out why they were still accepting yesterday's unprovoked sell-off. The higher-than-expected core PPI number prompted some immediate selling, nothing huge, but obviously correlated. The core PPI month-over-month came in at 0.3 on a 0.2 estimate it was 0.1 previously so still going up core ppi year over year came in at 2.4 on a 2.3 forecast it was 2.4 previously so holding steady not going down but ahead of forecast final demand rose 0.8 percent year over year on an estimate of 0.7 final demand excluding food and energy which is kind of the core one rose 0.3 percent on a 0.2 estimate so still growing the economy the san francisco fed chair mary daly said that it is too early to declare victory in the battle against inflation, which is interesting because her own Fed, San Francisco Fed, believes that shelter costs will decline from 7.8% to 5% by November, then go negative in May of 2024. Shelter accounts for 43.6% of the core number. It's been two-thirds of the inflation we've seen over the last like year and a half, two years. Consumer sentiment was flat in July, according to the University of Michigan. Inflationary expectations kicked down from 3.4% to 3.3%. Long-term inflationary expectations remain at 2.9 percent which is above the pre-pandemic range of 2.2 to 2.6 we could see another bout of snowball selling where bad turns to worse though bonds are testing the worst levels we've seen in a couple of weeks so it's tough to say something that makes it say it's going to get much worse from here this week is supposed to be all about cpi confirming or rejecting the notion that core inflation was finally falling in line the reading at or below the forecast would have ostensibly have done that but bonds managed to sell off abruptly that same afternoon now today a modest 0.1 beat in producer prices resulted in additional selling one might be forced to conclude that the selling is happening for reasons that transcend the data despite the persistence cry of data dependent from the fed and those who hang on to every word mbs closed down the day at down a quarter point uh kind of a long boat to same as this morning so this is actually up about three five basis points from where it once was and actually down 17 basis points from one point in the day stocks were pretty much unchanged being down four point seven eight points at the end of the week we are closing out at 98.36 which puts us right in the middle of this ugly ugly range so new ceilings of fibonacci at 98.716 we are way off of any of the trend lines up here with the red black purple or blue lines and then we have a new floor which has almost been tested it looks like it's been tested once and almost tested a couple times over the last handful of days this is not a range we want to stay in folks because even with servicing values that's not going to get us a very good rate and we're going to have to start looking at some different coupons but in terms of things you can control to increase your paycheck it's your brain and how you influence people there are four steps to influence so today's post from our sponsor at well that makes sense that com is all about steps three and four of influence you have to engage people you have to engage their brains every deal you've ever done starts with attention you have to get somebody's attention to get the loan so look at this as the four steps of influence at www.wellthatmakesense.com looking at next week not a lot of data we get retail sales on tuesday which will show that people are still buying stuff probably because just look around people are buying stuff wednesday we're gonna get inflation or industrial production thursday we get the philly fed That's about it for the week. So enjoy your weekend. Check out some of our common sources and sponsors at wellthatmakesense.com.